Hey guys, it's me Jen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm from Canada, lived in Japan and now I live here in Taiwan documenting my life and travels here on YouTube. In the next few videos on my channel, I'm going to take you to Penghu. This is an archipelago of 90 different islands in the Taiwan Strait. Some say Penghu County resembles pearls scattering over the East Sea. After spending four days there island hopping, snorkeling, stuffing my face, and living that island good life, I can definitely agree on the pearls analogy. Please sit back and enjoy your one-way ticket to Penghu, Taiwan. And welcome to Peng Hu. We have landed. We're starting our four day adventure here on the island. Also, I will be including budgets at the end of each video, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in making your own trip to Peng Hu. Straight from the airport, we landed and came right to the beach, and we're gonna just keep our suitcases here. And we're gonna take a glass canoe, which I found on Instagram, and it seemed super interesting. So. to do the glass canoe yes. adventure so it's 800 entity per person you get two hours in the canoe and I also provide the pictures photography the beach is beautiful oh my god I'm so happy are you happy I am very happy the glass canoes we're going to take are right there Ocean. Jen is a pro here. Oh my goodness, it's my first time, but it's really kind of scary. But when you're with a pro, nothing to be scared about. Don't bring a purse, okay? <laughs> Do not bring a purse. It's pretty, isn't it? It is. It's a little rough, so I can easily see people just like tipping. But so long as you keep your boat straight to the waves, it should be okay. And if you feel like you're gonna tip, slap the paddle. We had two hours on the canoe. We finished one hour. We're gonna decide if we wanna go back out or not. Probably a little bit. And then by that time, we'll be ready to check into our hotel. Somebody took my shoes. <laughs> I don't know where my shoes are. My sandals look very similar to these sandals. You guys know the sandals I wear in every vlog. We've arrived. Are the sandals back? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And those black ones are left. Oh, the one that switched. The lady must have taken mine and like left hers. What should I do? Do you enjoy the beach? Yeah, you had a good time. And now, we're heading to our hotel. I think our hotel is kind of near the center of this main island. The main island is called this. I will put it right there. And then our hotel is called Yaling Fan Dian. It's about 200 NTD for the taxi. And we're gonna check in. Did you notice my friend Ruth knocking on the door there? 
It reminded me of when I was taking Chinese lessons back in Japan. My teacher was telling me about superstitions in Taiwan. One being knocking on a hotel room door before entering and then flushing the toilet as soon as you enter. Now, I'm not sure if this is why Ruth knocked on the door and we certainly didn't flush the toilet as we entered, but I think some people still do follow this. Online, I found a better explanation here. Knock on the door three times before entering. This is to inform any spirits that there will be guests that evening. And flushing the toilet before using in case there are any dirty things left behind from the spirit realm. Again, I'm not sure how many people actually follow this. I feel like it's probably something similar to in Canada, we don't walk under ladders for fear of bad luck, something like that. Anyways, thank you for coming to my TED talk. Back to the video. Oh my God, it's so much bigger than I thought. Woo! Wow, we have a whole patio. Nice. <laughs> Are you excited? I heard you scream. Oh, look, there's a pool. Is, there's a pool here? Let me get my shoes that are actually not my shoes. And lucky for us, we got upgraded. So we got two beds instead of one. It's huge. I know. And they have like, maybe that's a kid pool. Okay. The bathroom's nice and big too. Nice shower. Yeah. All right, so we just touched up a little bit and we are gonna go get some dinner. We haven't decided where. I feel like on this trip, we plan so many tours and to do this and that, but we're gonna play dinner and everything like that by ear, like day by day, just take it day by day. All I know is that I'm hungry and I am ready to eat. Which is contestant um, noodles. Oh. And then minced rice noodles. Love that. And this is really famous in Shinju as well, but uh, it has meat inside. Stop number one. We got spicy. Ruth, what is it called? Zha Gui. Zha Gui. <laughs> Deep fried cabbage. I'm sorry I laughed because I struggled to say it. That's what it looks like. Okay, wait, I need another bite. It's not enough. One more bite. Mm. It kind of reminds me of like when you eat okonomiyaki in Japan. There's a lot of cabbage inside the pancake. And this is the same, but I think I prefer this because there's more vegetable inside. A little bit more substance, you know. This was 30 NTD. Mmm, <laughs> Hi, happy. This is a local stray cat. The man said he feeds her. She's so cute. We finally decided on a place. It's just some little random place on the side of the street. And when I'm with Ruth, I have to prepare to restaurant hop. Because she is the biggest foodie. You're the biggest foodie I've ever met. She just likes good food. So I just follow wherever she takes me. And it's always good. Standing here a while just to take it all in. Radio's playing It's good with the shell. It's a nice little like bonus crunch. I feel like the spice is almost like a sweet, sweet spice. Since I don't know what to get here, the manager recommended this shrimp. said this is only special dishes for Ooh, it's really, really good. All of these oysters for 200 NTD. We also ordered some deep fried oysters, which I'm not a fan of oysters, but this was actually very delicious. And then we made our way to the next place that sells some finger foods as well as goods and souvenirs. Wait, what did you get? Blue shrimp cake. However, oh. this place oh. behind you is really famous for their squid bowl, mm -hmm. but I'm going to try this right now. I know it's gonna be really, really hot. I can taste it's really fresh and it's really crispy. Yeah, it had a nice crisp sound. I really love the shrimp cake. What do you think? Nice crisp. The thing about this place is what they do, they do deliveries. Ah. $3,000, you get free shipping. Mm. We were also gifted some brown sugar cake to try. Perfectly sweetened, chewy, with a good texture to it. It's sweet. It's like a sponge cake. 
does. Very spongy. It's good. Next up, we have this giant shrimp. You might not think it looks that big, but when I tell you this is my hand and that's the shrimp, it's massive. Ooh, it's so juicy. I can taste the, the freshness of yeah. the shrimp. Mm -hmm. I probably look really messy right now. However, the shrimp is worth the way. Pongo is famous for cactus and they're famous for cactus ice cream. So we're getting like a mix, it's like a hybrid of cactus slushy and ice cream. We're gonna share in 75 NTD. It's quite soft actually. Let's give it one. Never tried this one. I've never had it either. Okay, what are your thoughts? Oh, it tastes delicious. Better than I thought, and it has a sweet. I agree. Better and than I thought. Sour. It's like a lemon taste, but with the. It's tart. It's tart. Yeah. yeah. It's better than I thought too. I wonder why it's purple. Me too. What kind of cactus is it? Hmm. So we asked the staff at the shop why it's purple, and they said it is made from the flowers of the cactus, which is that color. We're just quickly stopping at a souvenir store just to see what they have. Oh, they have a bunch of stuff. I don't know if you guys know this, but I collect magnets usually from everywhere I go. Just gotta choose which one I want. This one's cute too. buying a magnet for 130 NTD and now we're just gonna hit a bar that we found online on Google it looks pretty interesting gonna get a few cocktails we have to wake up extra early tomorrow for a tour so we won't go too hard just have a little bit of fun should be that row huh should be around here right the first bar we went to that night was a very dimly lit place with more of a homely feel. I forgot the name of the place, but the staff were really nice. Cheers. As I said, it's never just one bar or one restaurant with this girl. <laughs> Whoa. We then made our way to a second bar, which as you can see is extremely different from the first place. This place gave me post-apocalyptic neon vibes and I was totally loving it. And the music was really good too. Cheers. Salty. Just when you thought we were done, we went back to the first bar and ordered hookah because you can't get it there until 10 p.m. All right, we are back. And I picked up this hat from the store. Sandal gate, I don't know. The sandal incident. I still have the sandals from the other person. I guess they're mine now. We left Ruth's phone number for the people at the beach in case somebody like calls and says that they picked up the wrong sandals and we can exchange. First of all, can we just have a moment of silence for my sandals? I don't think I'll ever see those again. <laughs> it's not really a big deal. It's kind of funny, adds to the adventure. Yeah, anyway, we had a really good time. As I said before in another vlog, I don't think alcohol is very cheap in Taiwan. So if you wanna go to bars and everything like that, always bring a couple extra dollars. Hello and welcome to the budget part of the video. I like to put budgets at the end of these travel videos and share what I spent in case you also want to make a plan of your own to go to Penghu. Obviously it doesn't have to be now, but it could be like months from now, years from now, anything like that. I feel like the pricing and the budget will generally stay around the same for years to come. All right, so because we took the flight and checked into the hotel, I'm going to include those prices on this video. And the other two or three videos, I won't be including the hotel and the flight. So the hotel we stayed at was called Yelling Hotel. And for the three nights and four days, we paid 
9,903 NTD. So divided by two, it's 4,950 NTD each. Also, I will be adding conversions at the end, so just stay tuned for the final total. The flights round trip for two people was 7,592, so divided by two was 3,796 NTD. I'm just gonna say the total of the flight and the hotel per person. It was, it was 8,746 NTD, which is all of these right here per person round trip airfare and three nights in a hotel. Okay, moving on. By the way, there's no Ubers on the island, so either you rent a car, rent a scooter, or take a taxi. And I found a lot of the taxis didn't run the meter. You ask ahead of time like how much it is, and if you wanted to, I guess you can kind of like barter the price. When I add up the transportation, the food, and the things that I bought in the glass canoe, everything that I spent was 2,625 NTD, which is all of these right here. Do you find your country's currency? If not, please relate to another country that you know, or you can Google your currency if I missed it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below. You can always leave a comment too. I love to read them and comment back. I have two or three more Penghu videos coming, so please stay tuned for those. You can also support me on Instagram. All right, I'll see you guys in the next Penghu video. Bye.